Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist here at Adobe. It's my pleasure to give you your first look at a new feature in Photoshop called Invite to Edit. And basically what this is for is if you ever wanted to send a Photoshop document to someone to review, they may not know anything about Photoshop or Creative Cloud, so they need to be able to look at it without knowing anything about Creative Cloud or Photoshop. Or maybe you're sending it to a colleague and you actually want them to not only review it, but to apply some edits to it. No matter which one of these scenarios is true, you can do them both with the new invite to edit feature. So let's take a look at how it works. All right, I've got a Photoshop document open and it's not even saved yet. Now, of course, you can save this to your hard drive like you always do. There's no scenario where you can't do that. But if you do want to invite someone to edit, it does need to also be saved as a cloud document or only saved as a cloud document, whichever you prefer. Um, so save it to your hard drive first if you, prefer, if you prefer, but then go ahead and do a save as, and you're gonna get this choice if you've never dismissed this window, and you're gonna save it as a cloud document. Even if you've dismissed this window, you still have the choice to save it as a cloud document. That's gonna ask me for a name, and I'm gonna call it Dance Poster. So again, this is saving it to my Creative Cloud space. So it's gonna take a few minutes for that to sync. Um, so saving as you work. So it's doing that even though um, I can keep working. And um, also what this will give you the ability to do is to work on this on Photoshop on iPad as well. So whether you're saving this for, to just have it available on all your devices that you run Photoshop on, or whether you're saving it to invite to edit, it doesn't matter, it needs to be a cloud document no matter what. All right, so now, let's say you want to begin the process to invite someone to edit this document. Well, there's an icon for it right here in the upper right-hand corner of your control panel at the top here, and it's literally called invite to edit. It looks like a little person with a plus sign. Just go ahead and click that. And again, if your document has been saved to the cloud, this will come up. If your document has not been saved to the cloud, it will actually, actually ask you to go ahead and uh, save the document to the cloud first. Uh, so now that I've done that, I can go ahead and put in as many email addresses as I want to invite to edit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now these are gonna be blurred out on your end for the person's privacy. And I'm just gonna put in a note. Uh, take a look at this poster and let me know what you think all right so i'm just giving them a heads up of what what i'm asking them to do other than they just get an email with a poster in it they don't know what this is for i'm going to go ahead and say invite to edit and that invitation has been sent to victoria now victoria will get an email so she, even if she's not on her computer even if she's not in photoshop even if she's not paying attention she will get an email to uh, invite her to go and click a link now again, um, Victoria may be a Creative Cloud user, in this case she is, but if she wasn't a Creative Cloud user, they would still get the email and they would still be able to click on the link and get it in their web browser. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna let Victoria, I'm gonna have Victoria open this up and show you what edits or a reviewing she can do. And then we'll talk about the editing as well. So like I said, Victoria gets an email she clicks the link in the email. It opens up in her default web browser. And it also, since she's signed in uh, as a Creative Cloud user, she can go ahead and immediately start commenting. Now, if you send it to someone who's not a Creative Cloud user, doesn't have an Adobe ID, they can either choose to create one or sign in right then and there with one, or they can just sign in as a guest. They can just put their name in, sign in, and, uh, keep, and again, begin the review process. Now they get various review tools. They get like a pinpoint, they can draw on the document, they can uh, type in their comments, and those will come back to you, the person that, in my case, me, the person that invited them to edit as an alert in my Creative Cloud so I can go and click on it and see what they said. Now that alert will pop up and I uh, also will get an email. I'll get an email too that they did uh, do some uh, some uh, commenting, whether I had Creative Cloud or Photoshop open it at all. Now, there's one more thing I need to remind you of, and that is when you do your send for edit, make sure after it syncs, you go ahead and close the document. Because the next thing is, if it is a person that does have Photoshop and you want them to be able to edit it, you can't have it open at the same time. So there's a button in the upper right-hand corner that says open in Photoshop. So if, if it detects that they're a Photoshop user, 
they can go ahead and open it and they can start making changes to your cloud document. And those, those changes will be reflected the next time you open that document. Again, once they make the changes, let it sync and close it. So this way you get the best of both worlds. You get the ability to send a Photoshop document complete with layers, complete with everything you've done to it, no, no restrictions, and they get to comment on it, even if they don't know what Photoshop is. They get to see the pictures, see the various artboards, go in, scribble on it, make comments, so forth and so on, and you get that feedback back. But if they are a Photoshop user and you want them to be able to edit it too, they can do that as well. They can just not only just give you the feedback, they can go ahead and make the changes themselves. So if you're like maybe design challenged and you wanna send this off to a graphic designer and say, hey, go do this for me. Like I kind of started it, but make it look pretty. Then you can do that too, because they can open up the Photoshop file, make the changes, hit save, or not even hit save, just close it. It will sync back and it will be available as your cloud document that you can keep working on. So with that said, that's the new invite to edit feature. Go ahead and check it out. It's pretty cool to be able to do this right from within Photoshop and manage the whole process. Cheers everyone, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.